video here for you on Tuesday. Uh, all I traded today really was the SPY. Now, I was looking for an entry and I missed this whole thing. I actually slept in again. I was up in time for the market open and then I closed my eyes and I said, oh, just 30 seconds. What, what are that? Nothing, nothing will happen. 10.30 is when I woke up. So I was watching. I saw this entry. I saw this entry here as we were retesting the highs of the the, uh, the, the pre-market, I think. Yes. The highs of the pre-market here. Yeah, so this was the high of the pre-market. We were coming back down. We were testing. I just missed this. We had bounced back up into here. So I said, this still looks bullish. We're holding a lot of moving averages. Again, define your setup. Just because something has made the, f the first move or uh, maybe had the best entry or the, the, this as a best entry, that doesn't mean that the move is over. So this kind of confirmed to me that the long was going to happen today on the SPY or had a very high probability of happening. And where are we going to go? We're going to go straight to this gap close right here. And that's exactly what happened. Now, I sold most of my contracts up here. Um, I'm trading today's expiry contracts. They are the, the uh, 331.5s. So let me go back to the SPY here. So. I wanted to sell them quicker instead of waiting because as the day rolls on, Theta really starts to chew on these options. And even if it came down, consolidated, and then at the end of the day pushed back up, it, it they usually don't even get to the same price that they were here. They would have to be much higher just to be the same price as if it was right here. Now that's just the nature of options, especially on expiry. There's a whole lot of other stuff that goes into it. So I like to get my moves quickly. I got a nice move, so I sold most of them in here. And now I'm just holding, uh, what is it, eight contracts left. And from there, I'm just gonna hold up until we pass these highs right here. And uh, maybe even further, sorry, I have to turn something down right here. There we go. So, yeah, I'm just going to be holding until highs. Maybe we'll get further, maybe not. But that's where I'm going to start selling the rest of them. Again, here you can see. You can see a little bit here. My entry was down in here. And I was selling up most of them here on that push. I got a great sell on most of them. I'm just holding the rest of them. Now I have a target in place. And I also have a stop at the recent lows for the rest of them. So... That's all you need. All you need is one good trade. Now, I don't know if as good of a setup as this will come along for a couple of days, uh, but this was like A plus, very high probability. So I was risking up to 3R on this trade, or 3, 3.5, three 3R, and I was making between 12 and 15R. So that is, oh god, the math. That is a 4 to 1 to 5 to 1 trade. Perfect in my books. And the only reason I was taking more risk is because it met all of my criteria to take a higher tier of risk. Now, I tried not to let the previous days, previous weeks of doing really well affect me in the sense that, oh, I can just risk that money. And maybe it did a little bit, but I was willing to lose 3R, and I almost did right here, uh, but then it was instantly bought up, and then I put my stop in, and then it was never hit, <clears throat> so I just had to hold on to the targets. Now, most people have trouble holding on to winners, and that's what I've been trying to say for, for a couple days now. You have to be able to not sell as it comes back up to break even, or up in here when you're not at your target, but you're still in profit. You just, you have to have a plan and you have to follow it. I think that's going to be my takeaway for today is you just find your one stock, your one ticker, your one index. So many things move today. Like Tesla would have been, or no, sorry, BIND, B-Y-N-D. That was the trade today that I missed. 
this morning it dipped straight into yesterday's pivot point and then just ripped so let's see the 120s bind options 120 calls oh. oh that's painful look at these things they hit a low of 182 or 177 let's call it 176 and they went all the way up past nine bucks you just buy you buy one of them and you're spending hundred and eighty dollars and you could have sold it for 500 600 700 800 900 and this thing might keep going so that is the power of options um, you can control your risk limit your downside and massively unlimit your upside at the same time I hope that was good for you guys please leave any questions comments below uh, I'm gonna try to post as much as I can this week but I'm also working my afternoon job this entire week so I might not get to a lot of videos but I'll upload when I can so we'll see you later have a good one